<laughs> Once upon a time, Maxusha, don't litter. Once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time, Maya, yeah, say hi. Hi. Say hi. Once upon a time, there lived two mice named Harry and Scarry, and a cock, Silver Throat by name. The two mice did nothing except dance and sing. While the cock was always up at the first break of dawn, woke everyone with his song and started working. One day he was sweeping the yard and found a weed stalk. Come here, Harry! Come here, Scurry! See what I have found! The cock began calling. The mice came running. They looked at the weed stalk and only sighed. It would be great if the stalk was threshed, they said. And who is going to do it? asked the cock. Not me, answered one mouse. Not me, replied the other. Well, then I'll do it myself, said the cock and set to work. Harry and Scurry went on playing in the yard. Silver Throat thrust the stalk and called to the mice. Come here, Harry, come here, Scurry, see how many grains I have threshed. The mice came to the cock. The grain must be taken to the mill and ground into flour, the mice said. And who is going to take it there? Asked the cock. <laughs> Not me, cried Harry. Not me, cried Scurry. Well, then I'll take it there, Silver Throat said. He threw the bag of grain over his shoulder and went to the mill. And the two mice kept on rumping, skipping and hopping. Soon the cock came home with the bag of flour and called to the mice again. Come here, Harry! Come here, Scurry! I have brought the flour! <laughs> the mice were so happy on running to the cock. Oh, silver throat, now it's time to make dough and bake some pies. And who is going to do it? The cock asked. The two mice began their song again. Not me, squeaked Harry. Not me, squeaked Scurry. Silver throat thought it over and said, Then I'll have to do it. He made the dough, brought some wood, kindled the fire in the oven, and when the oven ha was hot enough, put the pies into it. Meanwhile, the mice were not idle. They went on dancing and singing. When the pies were baked, Silver Throat took them out of the oven, laid the table, and set them on it. Scarcely had the mice felt the smell of pies when they came running. Oh, how hungry I am, said Harry. So am I, said Scurry. And the cock said to them, Wait a little. First tell me, who found the wheat stock? You did, said the mice. And who threshed it? You did, they said in a lower voice. And who made the dough? Kindled the fire in the oven and baked the pies. You did, said the mice in a very quiet voice. And what were you doing all that time? What could the mice answer? They kept silent since they didn't know what to say. They began to climb out from behind the table and Silver Throat did not stop them. They were lazy mice before. They didn't deserve being. Th 
they were lazy mice. Therefore, they didn't deserve being treated to such delicious pie. So you should not be lazy. You must listen to mommy. And give mommy a kiss. <coughs> Good night, guys. <coughs> Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs>